let's talk about virtual storage. Virtual storage is a pool of storage created from physical storage, from physical hard drives, network attached storage devices or SAN storage devices, and that we access over a network. Now these drives, these physical storage devices, are often attached to the network and accessed over the network. So if it's using an iSCSI or SCSI protocol to interconnect the storage over a network, we take that storage and create LUNs or logical unit numbers, which are kind of like partitions or volumes that map to the physical storage. Now for the physical storage, you can use local storage like local drives attached to the server. You can use iSCSI, Fiber Channel SAN, or NFS network file system. And then you can use those physical storage devices to create your data store. Now the data store is made from the logical drives, from the logical volumes created from the LUNs and which map to the physical storage. And you have several options for the data stores. You can use the VMware file system or VMFS. You can use the network file system. You can also use a, or create a virtual SAN or virtual volumes. Let's see if we can see this in vCenter. I'm going to go to the NetLab using NDG's NetLab and I'm going to access the client host to manage the vCenter server. So I'll click on the vClient and here is my web client for managing vCenter and I'll click on storage and now I'm in the storage and you can see that the storage has one, two, three, four different data stores. The first data store is an iSCSI LUN. Then we have local storage. And then we also have two NFS volumes, volume one and NFS volume two. Now, if I click on this iSCSI LUN and right click and go to settings, you can see that the file system on the iSCSI LUN is a VMFS or VMware file system. Now if we look at the local data store, it too is using the VMFS file system. 